If Olympus Mons erupts on Earth, so would that mean mass extinction for us? The answer to this question is a big no. Even if this giant volcano erupts on Earth, nothing significant will happen. Before diving deep into the discussion, let's first understand the volcano itself and the planet Mars to which it belongs. Mount Olympus or Olympus Mons, the official name in Latin, is present on planet Mars. Olympus Mons is considered the largest volcano in the solar system. This giant volcano is almost entirely constructed of basalt lava flows. Olympus Mons is around 3.5 billion years old. Astronomers indicate that the volcano provides hints that help decipher the red planet's history and suggest that Mars was once covered by inflowing rivers of both water and lava. Also, a series of four volcanoes, Olympus Mons and the three other volcano peaks of Tharsis Montes Ascraeus Mons, Pavonis Mons, and Arcea Mons were all growing taller than any other mountain on Earth. All these peaks are phenomenal, but Olympus Mons stands tall above the rest. How huge is Olympus Mons? Olympus Mons isn't just tall, but it also has a circumference that is about 20 times wider than its height. Its diameter spreads around 370 miles, 600 kilometers, from edge to edge. It has a height of nearly 26 kilometers above the surface of Mars. Olympus Mons is approximately three times taller than Mount Everest's height from sea level and is the youngest of all the large volcanoes present on Mars. To understand clearly, we can consider that if Olympus Mons was put on top of the United States would encompass the whole of Arizona. Similarly, over Europe, it would cover all France, and it is around 100 times the volume of Earth's largest volcano, Mauna Loa. The Olympus Mons is a shield volcano which implies that it trickles enormous amounts of lava rather than blowing its top in a disastrous eruption. What is a shield volcano? A shield volcano is a volcano that resembles the shield of a warrior on the ground. It is formed by the outburst of highly fluid or low viscosity lava, which travels farther and forms thinner flows compared to the more viscous lava erupted from a stratovolcano. Few characteristics of shield volcanoes are, the lava is non-acidic and very runny or fluid-like. The eruptions are less violent. It has shorter periods between eruptions. Why would the explosion not cause any threat? There are two main reasons. Characteristics of the lava. The lava that creates shield volcanoes is fluid and flows easily, and is primarily composed of basaltic magma. The low level of viscosity of lava also means that shield eruptions are non-explosive and erupts in a relatively gentle stream. Therefore, shield volcano eruptions generally do not pose a threat to human lives, as the lava flow is easy to predict and avoid. The lower gravity on Mars. Mars only has a tenth of Earth's mass, which has a profound effect on gravity. So if one weighs 100 kilograms on Earth, he, she would only weigh 38 kilograms on Mars. The lava flowing on the surface of Mars is observed to be much longer, probably due to higher eruption rates and lower surface gravity. Low gravity has a dramatic impact on how volcanic eruptions can occur on Mars, and hence these are not destructive. When did the last eruption occur? Although we are still unsure about the precise date, geologists suggest that the last eruption occurred sometime in the 20th century. What would happen if eruptions ever landed on Earth? Mars is on average approximately 225 million kilometers away from the Earth. Suppose at an average speed of 2 miles per second a volcanic bomb escapes, then it would have to drift at least for about 800 days or for maybe more than 2 years to reach our planet. It is only applicable if the bomb traverses along a direct trajectory, which is very much questionable and nearly next to impossible. However, one important question remained to be answered and is still under investigation is whether Olympus Mons is still active? Despite claims made by scientists and observations made by Earth and space-based telescopes, no activity of eruptions has ever been recorded on Olympus Mons. The European Space Agency's Mars Express mission has spotted what was interpreted to be a recent lava flow only approximately a mere 2 million years old on Mars. NASA's InSight mission on the Red Planet could potentially enable us to capture volcanic activity in the act. To wind up on this, we can state that even if Olympus Mons were still active and people started living around or on it, just as they do on Hawaii's Big Island today, it wouldn't be scarier or any more different from what's been happening. The fact that Olympus Mons is a shield volcano makes it less vulnerable to us.